G'day everyone, welcome to this episode of Aussie Garage. Today we're with Tony, who's got this mad collection in his shed. Um, and he's also got a cool panel van that we're going to have a look at. But for now, I'm lost. I need to find my way out. Cooey! Hello! <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> no, this way, not <laughs> <laughs> Tony, well, we're here to see your collection and your car today. So let's start off with this one. Tell us about this beautiful ride here, mate. What do you got? Well, we're looking at a 1955 FJ panel van, yep. which I've had for 15 years. It's painted emerald green, which is actually a Rover paint, yep. but it's a very nice green and suits the car. It definitely does. It's got all later modern running gear. We've got no FJ gear in it whatsoever. Yeah, fair enough. We've got a red motor, 179 up the front. Yep. We've got a WB Trimatic on the floor behind it. We've got a HR disc brake power boosted front end. Yep. And a HR drum rear, a HT steering column. Wow, it's a mixed bag for sure. And I don't like to tell everybody this, but it's got Japanese Corolla bucket seats in it. <laughs> <laughs> no one needs to know that, so it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, I had it repainted about four years ago. Well, it had a lot of chips anyway. in it. Didn't have any rust. It was just body chips and wear and tear from going bush and getting logs of wood and that. Now, I, yep. a bit like me now, we're both retired. Take it easy. <laughs> yeah. for, like just for cruising around. That's right. Yeah. Workhorse. Yeah, I love the old Mandra Coffee Cruise. I I don't miss that. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, that's a good event to go to, and I'll, I'll turn up at Pinjarra. Maybe our loop now and again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, so you uh, said you've had, you bought this 15 years ago. So how did you end up finding this car to start with? Well, I had an EK Ute which was needed a fair bit of work on it, and I decided to upgrade. To, I always wanted an FJ. Yeah. So I went through the back in the good old days, Sunday Times readers, mate. No one uses that anymore. No, just and I was not. looking for a Ute when I seen this panel van yeah. up, and it was up near Whiteman's Park. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went up there. I rang him first, and he said, if you're looking for a stock sanded job, this is not it. Yeah. I said, no, nah, that won't bother me. So we drove up there, and that was it. Nice. He'd done it up for his son, and his son was more into full drive fishing, and he wasn't using it. And he just said, we've got too many cars, so I need to move it on. Yeah, perfect. So perfect. I bought it off him. I've, I've loved it ever since. Well, the chrome work on this and the, and the stainless, I don't know if this is stainless or chrome at the front? Or yeah, the... most of it's chrome. Yeah, yeah. this is just perfect. There's... Yeah, it's, it's in good like nick, it's yeah. New. He told me the only thing he didn't re-chrome were the teeth. You can see the little pitting on. Yeah, little pits on it Whoops. and stuff like that. But that's only just small little things, so... Yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah, that's not a hassle. And you've got the emblem at the front, which is always good. It's always funny when you're looking at the old Holden logos and things yeah. like that, how it's changed over the years and yeah, evolved yeah. In from, from what it used to be to now. Yeah. And the little rat finks. Yep. Yep. <laughs> they suit the green. So, yep, they blend in well. <laughs> well I've seen them well. with Big Owls. He's passed away now. Yeah, yep, that's that it. That was a good run too, Big Owls on the river front there. Yeah, yeah. Well, apparently there's a few people that are going to try to recreate that again. Oh, um, okay. I'm not yeah, sure if they, yeah. how they're going to go with it, but apparently a few yeah. people are going to try. Oh, okay. All right, mate. Um, so you've got dragway indies on them. Yeah. Um, they are indies, aren't they? Yeah, I think yeah. they are. Yeah, I think that's what they call them. And they're, they're 15 inch nice. with a HR stud pattern. Oh, perfect. To fit the HR front. Yeah, because so, uh, I always thought these cars would have came out with like 14 inch rather than 15 inch. No, nah, 15s with the FX FJ. Nice. Then they went 13 FE to HR. Yep. Then they went 14 HK upwards. Oh, fair enough. There eh? you go. Yep. <laughs> there we go then. Solves the problem then, mate. Yeah. Okay, well, look, what I think we should do is um, let's have a look in, in the engine bay. Yeah. Have I'll, a chat about that. So I'll, I'll pop the bonnet. Yeah, that'd be great, mate. Right. All well, right. Let's have a look underneath the hood. Yeah, okay. The mighty big 179. <laughs> fair enough, <laughs> mate. <laughs> no. I'm still, look, I'm still looking for original one of these. Yeah, yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, it's got well, a three. This still works, so that's amazing. Yeah, well, it's been on it 15 years. Yeah, yeah. It's well, got a 350 holly on it. Nice. 
And it's got a 186 head on it now because the other one packed up. Yep. I don't know how good your eyes are, but it's got Army written on there. Oh, wow. Okay. And um, the story is that Army bought a lot of red motors and they used them for lighting plants and, and winches. So yep. they had no history of what car it came out of. So, um, well, they also used a lot of the Holden engines and put them in the Rovers and also... Oh, Land Rovers, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they also yeah. used them for like the um, yeah. uh, passenger yeah. vehicles around, like yeah. transporting... Like, well, um, see, this is Reg... As well. um, the Rego on the Rego papers, it's got Army plus the numbers. Nice. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Um, yeah. So definitely this would have been... Because the Army always stamps it as serial number two, so yeah. this would have been... Yeah. Number 356. Army supply, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so, yeah. No, nah, perfect. That's <laughs> yeah. awesome. It just makes it a little bit different for everybody else's red motor. Yeah, yeah well, that's yeah, just it. Yeah. And that's like, that's a unique story, that the yeah. fact that you've got that in there. And look, you just don't see that. Like, that's perfect. Well, when I bought it, it, it had a, the original radiator, which yep. had been widened a little bit. Yep. But it just kept popping holes everywhere. Okay, yeah, yeah. Aussie Desert Coolers, aluminium radiator, tell them it's an FJ red motor, just drop straight in. Perfect, mate. Perfect, Perfect. yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, no, they're, um, I've had no their trouble radiators with are awesome, they're brands I've and stuff no like that. I've had no trouble with that in 15 years. Best thing I ever did. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Um, no, I like that, it's cool. And you know what? It gives the, the whole engine bay, has got character underneath here. Yeah. Um, and there's the old Claxton. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Where'd you come from, June, buddy? what are you doing? <laughs> So excited, he's like, yeah, yeah, man, come over here. <laughs>$95 a new battery. Yeah, well, batteries are getting expensive these days, <laughs> yeah, aren't they? So, yeah. you know, everything in here is, like, perfect. I like how you still got, like, all the original parts of the motor. <coughs> the stolen. brake fluid's up there. Yeah. The, the original ones are way down the bottom, and you couldn't yep. even see them, let alone check yeah, the fluid. Yeah, get to them, yeah. Yeah, so... Nice. That was put up there. No, you just when you're looking back at these old cars, you realise how simple the yeah. engine bay was compared to now. Oh. Uh, now you look at it and go, "You don't want to even oh, shut it, let them make Yeah, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's you can right. touch a few things, and they're all yellow coated. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, they're the old red, uh, the red one seven nines and one eight sixes. They were indestructible. Yeah. Oh yeah, went yeah. forever. Yeah, this one's a little bit tired, but still purrs along the road good you know I, these things once you just you don't have to redo too much on them and to get them back to normal back to, again yeah that's right them a bit. Yeah. yeah yeah for sure and you've got like all the compliance plates up there and stuff like that which are yeah. cool to see the old compliance plates yeah that's what I call the birth certificate yeah yep it tells the original colour of the paint job upholstery yep. you know it's all on there yeah which is good because I get them Don Loeffler's books, he's got them all. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yep. can look up there and it'll tell you the paint colour it was, the trim colour it was. No, but It was a light green originally. So oh, okay, so they've it's always, always just been done green. Take it it's from always been light green. To a yeah. dark. And it's a perf assemble panel there. Oh, nice. Yeah, because down here you've got the chassis here, the tag here. Yep. And it's got a five at the front, which tells you it's 55. Yep. There's about four numbers, which is the body number. And there's a P at the end, tells you it's a perf assembled car. If it's an S, it'd be Sydney, N yeah. would be Melbourne, A Adelaide, and B Brisbane, yeah. No, nice. So it's a local yokel. Yep, yep. That's what I like to see. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Keep yeah, it in the West. It'd be, it'd be one of, uh, this car would probably would have come out of the Holden plant out of Osmond Park. Yeah, yeah, Mosman uh, Park. Mosman Park, yeah, Mosman Park. Yeah, Mosman Park, yeah, yeah, Park, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, that's right. That, that, it, it's assembled there. The shell probably pressed in Adelaide and they bought the shells over and then shipped them in through the plant and yep. that's where they put it all together, yeah. No, love it. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Alright, well, let's move on and have a look at the interior. Yeah. Beautiful. These things are solid. Righto, we got a pair of Toyota Corolla bucket seats. Fair enough. Secret I like to keep. <laughs> well, you can't see them unless the covers are off really, so... That's yeah. right. Yeah, and there's your T-bar shift on the floor. Yep. And as you can see, the Sydney Ackerson badge, it was sold in Perth by Sydney Ackerson. Yep, perfect. And the little Holden badge here. Yep. That's off a 1939 Vauxhall. Oh, nice. Because Holden assembled cars before they made Holdens. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The factory, that's yeah. It. And I found that up north probably 45 years ago, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was on my EK for 18 years and now it's 
been on here for 15, so. This is perfect, mate. Like, yeah. I love your little steering wheel cover, too. That looks yeah. wicked. Yeah, there's so a couple of... Made. Yeah, a couple <laughs> of lovely ladies down at the markets at Dawesville make them, and she, nice. says when I, she said, when I get the hold of material, they just go, yeah. bang, gone. Yeah, she said they sell that quick. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, no, it looks... And it suits it, you know? It suits the era, it suits the whole lot of it's it. It's perfect, you know? yeah. Especially if, on a warm day, you come back to the car, the steering wheel gets hot, you know? Yeah. With that yeah. on, it's perfect, yeah. So. And I like how the, the door skins on these things were so simple. Yeah. It was a straightforward yeah. handle, window wiper. Yeah, you never, you never got an armrest, they're only for the specials. Yeah, yep. Yeah, that, as they call them, a no-frills model. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, these nose frills models got everyone around quite that, well, so. They, these done all the work. They were bread vans, they were work vans. Definitely. Then they become surface cars and... Well, that's why their original panel vans came out for, was the yeah. commercial side of things more than anything else. That's right. It was the only, the really, the Holden Sandman that took it from took that it away to from the iconic a, yeah. workman van to a yeah, that's right, know, yeah. to something that was fun and um, um, something for recreational. That's right. You would have only bought one of these purely for work. If you had a yeah, company, yeah. a plumber or electrician or whatever, yeah. Yeah, that's not a drama. Yeah. And the back of the the, uh, the interior of the tray, yeah. um, what have you got in there? Is it just straight it's, out bed? It's, um, I've got a mattress in there because I used to camp out in the bush, in it? Rusty Acres Auto Recycled. Nice. Beautiful. Yep. Good good name for it. <laughs> perfect, mate, perfect. Yeah. Suits in well, doesn't it? Yeah, and this one's got a fully lined carpet roof so oh, wicked. Yep. when I can't camp out my mate's block gets down to minus two sometimes it's nice and snug in there keep you nice and warm <laughs> yep so That's otherwise you've just pretty much got a little mattress in here and yep yep and there's me my mother's RAC badge they don't make yep. them like that anymore the nah, metal definitely one. Not. Yep. when she retired from driving I took that off the grill and stuck it in there yep and a few yeah. few little things and did you um do the well, did you do the trimming or did someone else do the trimming? <laughs> no, I was all decked out when I got it. I just oh, threw okay. the mattress in there and got stuck these on. You no, gotta have a little lion bloody toy in the back. Yeah, I picked it up at a spot meet one day and it's it's lived in there ever since. Yeah, well, why not, mate? <laughs> got a nice little home in there and stuff like that. So yeah, that's, all right. that's right. And and I, when I park at the car shows. One of those on each of the squ split windscreens, and yep. it made for it. You couldn't get more Australiana than that, could you? No, perfect, <laughs> mate. Perfect. And you obviously you you put the struts in rather than the original yeah, clip yeah, locks. Yeah, this one needs replacing because that's why I'm holding it up. Yeah, yep. <laughs> yeah. They always go after a while anyway, oh, so that's a perfect thing. But that's right yeah. for sure. Yeah. And it is, yours is um, on the outside, which is good. Yeah. Because like a mate of ours, his van. The top is on the inside, oh, oh, is that right? and the actual tailgate from the bottom comes over the top. Oh, and right, eh? it looks like a sieve. Yeah, because the rain had run off the top yeah. of it, over the top. Yeah. But the yeah. XC that he's got is the like yours this way around. Yeah, yeah. Which is interesting that why I don't understand why they went backwards. They went, they had this first. Yeah, that's then right. Then they did that model and they did it the opposite way around. Then they went, yeah, that didn't yeah, work. So yeah. we're going back to what we had. It. Of course, HK they bought in the wind down window. Yeah, yeah. Done away with the top tailgate. Yeah. Good idea, but if you wanted something out, you'd wind it all the way down, take it out, wind it all the way back. Whereas well, these, yeah. you just popped it out and, you, and you, you could leave them up when you're driving along, you know. Well, that's one thing that I never thought why yeah. they didn't do is, like even with the, I think it was the XC station wagons, Yeah. they had the electric yeah, yeah. windows that came down. Yeah, right? that's right. No, yeah. One that, no one did that in the panel vans. And I went, oh, no, that would have been a good idea. But that's yeah. not a drama. Oh, yeah, well, this is just perfect. Yeah, and the tail oh, lights are well done. They've even made it out. Because a lot of them just sit flat, you know, yeah, but, yeah. but he's act, built a ridge around it for the stick it's got to square nice it up. Yeah. And everything like, that. The, like the body that's, work on this is a And that's good for the shopping centres. <laughs> no one going back into me. <laughs> yeah, well, well, these only had bumperettes when they first came They only had, a, they were right down there. Yeah. That's all they had, a little little rubber stopper on it, you know. Oh, okay, yeah, that's all yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they yeah. had no bumper at all. The only ones that had their little lump bumperette were the Butcher Baker vans that they oh, okay. that yeah, yeah, General yeah. Motors bought out. And they had a little step, but the standard ones just had the rubber on there, nothing else, yeah. yeah no, no lights, on. they had no lights. And had this got the spare wheel underneath here? Or no, it's it inside, you've got to lift, lift the floor up, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because they're a bit wider, it wouldn't fit in there. Yeah. Because they were, they were only yeah. four-ply or something like that, the original. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're too narrow, you know. <laughs> and and if you drive a car with the narrows on them, you Follow every little rut in the road. Yep. As soon as you put wider tyres on them, 
Far better. Yeah, definitely. And the, the exhaust system you got on here, just, uh, just like a, two inch all the way through? Yeah, just a stainless set. It's been, been I remember the old over. days, you know, eight months after you had a car to be leaking, you know, <laughs> they yeah. just rust out all the time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But stainless is the best thing. Ever. It costs you a few dollars to put it on, but, but, but it's once. You don't touch it again, you know. Yeah. That's right. They don't rust out, perfect idea. Yeah. And a lot of things have got so much better these days than what it used to be. Oh, you know, parts yeah. used to break down all the time. Or... Wheel alignments used to go on. Yeah, 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 that's it. So at least these ways it's a lot easier once you do it. Yep, you can get do it, it once and do it right. Back. That's the old saying, yeah. Yep, perfect. Yeah. This is a great looking car. I'll shut the back of that. Yeah, yep, not wrong. You've got to give a little persuasion. Like you do with every panel van <laughs> <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> all right, mate. Tell us about this, because I've never seen this before. Yeah, the, these scratch plates came from South Australia. My yep. da daughter's friend was working out there, found them in the boot of an old car on a station, and uh, I had them re -chromed, and they were made to fit this car. They're beautiful, yeah. Yeah, they're like, I've, like I said, I've seen other scratch plates before, but never one with a holding badge on it. Especially with the lion in the standing position. Yeah, yeah. Which is very uh, unusual and different. They're always in the sitting position and everything else. Yeah, well, that's else. true yeah. too, yeah. So I was happy you had two of those and uh, you give them to me and uh, thank you, Brad. Yep, well, fair enough. <laughs> so how long did these sit in the car before, uh, in the shed before you got them? Oh, in the car? probably 10 years. Wow, okay. Yeah, yep. and then uh, when I sold the EK and bought this, first thing it was I just thought, meant to be, wasn't it? Yeah, I thought, bang, these got to go in here. Yeah, perfect. So I, I took them down to Bunbury and there's a bloke down there, re chromed them. Nice. Put them on and best thing I did, they look beautiful. They, they do make the door. Yeah, yeah, yep. I like them. Yeah. I definitely like them. And you've also got a fuel cap. Lockable, yeah. Now, I haven't seen one with a lock on it before. So, well, I, not this age anyway. My brother picked that up at a swap meet many years ago and he didn't know what it was off. Yep. He went to a car show one day and he spotted an FJ1 on. And he asked the guy, he goes, yeah, they were a NASCO accessory. Wow, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, he gave it to me and never had a key. So, I took the locksmith here and they give put a new barrel and got a key for it. Perfect. It's beautiful, yeah, I love it. Yeah, aerodynamic, see that? <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> There's my little skull there. Yeah, yeah, awesome. I think the, I think a lot of cars have got those ones on them, so it's just good. Best, best football team in the waffle, by the way. <laughs> nice, yeah, nice. I thought I'd chuck that one in. Yeah, you're, why not, mate, why yeah. not? And is there any other special features that are on the car? Uh, no, not, not, not really. I'm... And I dropped the number plate down there because it was sitting up. Okay. And I and these, see the chrome bars in there? Yeah, yep. That's just chrome copper pipes on your, over the sink, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I, one of those, just cut two short bits in there and they're perfect. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Gives yeah. that nice space that you need. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And like I said, the only thing that, you know, chrome's a bit pitted out the front, but yeah. that's about it. Everything else. Been like that 15 years, because it's always garage and cover over it. Yeah, yep. So it'll, it'll probably stay like that for many years to come yeah these old girls are, you know the perfect old cars and it's a great bit of Australian history so yeah at the end of the day you definitely have to look after them you know especially the old FJ it was a bit of an icon isn't it oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's right that that's for sure the old saying you see this van a rocking don't come a knocking <laughs> <laughs> I love it yeah. it's a perfect car and look you've kept it well you know the respray look it's yeah. all immaculate Beautiful, and yeah. You know what? I do like this green. It's nice color and yeah, you know, emerald it green. Sits in well. Yeah, emerald green from a Rover. Beautiful. All right. Well, what I reckon we should do is let's go have a look at the rest of your collection. Yep, the Holden shed. Sounds good, mate.